Hello guys and welcome to another video in this series of Linux tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about how we can create user accounts, how we can modify user account details and how we can delete user accounts in Linux. So let's begin. First of all, a user account is the account that can be used to interact with the system, right? Now whenever you install the Linux in your system, then two users are automatically created. The first user is the root user that has the high privileges and another one is the normal user. Okay. During the installation, it asks you to create one normal user. Okay. For example, currently my normal user is wiki. Now by default, only the root user can create other users in the system. Okay. To create other users, we can write here add user command and then the name of the user. Okay. For example, I can write here username as user1. Okay. But if I press enter, you will see that only the root may add a user or group to the system. Okay. Only root can create the user. So to overcome it, I have to use here sudo. Okay. Sudo is used when you want to run a command as the other user. Right. If I am not specifying here any with the dash u with any other username, then by default it takes user as a root user. Okay. So if I am not specifying here dash u option then this command will be run as a root okay so if i press enter it will ask me for the root password so i'll run it okay and now the user one is getting created okay then i have to specify here password let's say the password is user one and then again retype the password okay now if you want to give some more information regarding the user you can write here for example you can write here full name so i can write here let's say user full okay then it is asking for the room number. Now room number is basically used in the past times when the system was allocated to some particular room. For example, in your university, you had seen that the some computers are in one lab and the some computers are in the another lab. Okay. Let's say there is a user who belongs to this room. Okay. There is some system or there is some user that belongs to that particular room. Then that this particular field was used to identify that particular room okay so you can use the room number for this purpose right so i can give any room let's say one to zero okay and then i press enter it could ask me for the work phone so i can write here anything then home phone number again anything okay you can also leave these fields blank okay so here also i'm writing anything is this information correct yes okay as soon as i will press enter a user with the name user1 has been created in my system right now if you want to log in as your new user then you can write su then dash and then the username that is user1 okay then it will ask me the password for user1 so i'll write here password now if you see i have been logged in as the user1 okay so command is used when you want to run a command with some another or substitute user okay so dash means that i want to run the login shell instead of dash you can also write there dash l okay dash l and dash here means the same okay and then the substitute user to be user1 so basically this command means that i want to run login shell for the user as the user user1 okay i will explain the difference between the su and the sudo commands in some separate video but for now if you want to log in as other user you can use this command okay other than that you can log out from the system and log in again as the user user1 right so if i remove here so if you see my shell for the user1 is bash shell okay similarly if i see my current working directory then i'm inside home and inside user1 okay now Whenever a user is created in the Linux, then an associated home directory is also created Okay, for that user, right? Now, by default, the home directory is created inside the home directory. If you see here that inside it, I, a home directory for the user one is also created, right? So now let me clear it. Now you may ask a general question that how does the add user command knows that where we have to make the home directory for the user? Similarly, how the add user command knows that which shell should be used for the new user, okay, new created user. So this all happens using the file etc present inside the etc and the name of the file is adduser.conf file, okay. So if you see the manual page of add user command, then you will see here that it uses this file, okay, for the configuration purposes. So if I press Q to end it and then if I open this file etc 
and then the add user dot conf then you will see that the default shell is set to the bash shell okay similarly default home directory is set to the slash home so any user is created the home directory for that user will be created inside the slash home directory okay similarly there are also some other options right so first of all i will exit as user1 and now i am logged in as the wiki okay so now i will use sudo nano slash etc and then add user dot conf file okay now let's say that instead of default shell to be used bash i wanted to use the shell okay bond shell okay and similarly the home directory should be created in sub directory that is the new user okay so if i press control o save it and now if you view this file etc add user dot com then you will see that the default user home directory will be now inside home and inside new user and default shell for the newly user will be sh that is the bond shell okay so if you see my home directory you will see i had a folder there with the name new user and inside it it is currently empty okay it is empty right now right so if i again make another user let's say the name of the user this time to be 2 okay then let's say the password to be user2 again and user2 and let's say user2 full okay then i'll press enter right yes and now if you see that the default directory for that user will be created inside the new user okay you will see that inside the slash home the home directory is not created but if i do here let's say slash home and then new user then you will see the home directory is created inside the new user okay similarly if i log in here as user 2 okay let me write the password for user 2 you will see my default shell is now set to the bond shell okay if i do here dollar of shell then you will see that my shell is now sh that is the bond shell okay so if you want to change the default setting that happens when you add the user account in the system then you can use the add user dot con file that is present inside the slash etc sub directory okay so now let me let exit here okay now this was about how you can change the default settings okay but during the user creation you can also change it for example let's say i again add another user with the name user3 and i can specify options like let's say shell okay so this option is used when you want to change the user shell okay so it will not instead of reading the shell value from the file this value will be used okay basically overwriting the default nature so i will be setting it to let's say slash bin i am providing here the path and then let's say i will use here r bash that is the restricted bash okay similarly you can give option here like dash dash home for creating the home directory in some other location but i will be sticking here with only the shell here now i will press enter okay so it will ask me for the password again i'll press here and let's say i'm just removing here okay and the information is correct now if i do here let's say again login as the user 3 dash and then user 3 again type the password now if i do here echo of dollar shell you will see my bash is r bash okay instead of the bond shell that we had set previously right so remember that you can also override the values okay using the options if you want to know some other option then you can always use the manual page let me open the manual page for add user you will see there are a lot of other options here for example uh, there is home option for the home directory then there is a shell option that we used here and there are also some other options like uid that i will talk about you shortly okay and uh, group also group is also important so we can set these options okay so now let me quit it and let me exit from the user 3 and let's clear it now in linux whenever a user account is created then an associated unique id is also set for that user okay if you want to know that user id for any user then you can write here id and then the name of the user for example i can write here user 1 okay then you will see uid that is the unique id set for the user 1 is 1002 okay i am not talking about gid and groups for now i will be talking about these in the 
liter videos okay so if you see unique id for user 1 is 1002 similarly for user 2 it is 1003 okay by default in increments 1 by 1 okay similarly if i see here of user 3 it is 1004 okay now if you see again that the etc and add user dot con file then here you can see that first user id is 1000 okay and the last user id is 59999 okay so this amount of user i can create with the unique id if you want to increase it and decrease it you can change these lines okay or if you want to change the default nature of user id then during the user adding you can use the option dash dash id and then here give the any number okay and if this unique id is available then the user will be created with this unique id okay so i had already told you that you can use the man add user command for that okay so here will be the id option here it is it is actually the dash dash uid okay it is not id it is uid okay so if i press q now it will be ended okay so now let's clear it now after creating the user let's say that i want to modify user account okay first of all let's say that i want to change the password for that i can use the command password okay that is P A S S W D and then the name of the user let's say the name of the user is user 1 okay but to change it either i have to logged in as the user 1 or run this command as the sudo okay so i will be going to log in as the user 1 okay instead of dash you will see that if i use here dash l it is going to make no difference right now if i can change here my user okay user 1 and now it is asking me for the current password that is user 1 and let's say the new password is user 11 okay then again retype new password since new and old password are really similar so i have to write the again new password here okay now it is saying password updated successfully right instead of login as the user you can also change it if you use the sudo command right so now let me exit right so after that let's say that i want to change the default shell of the user 1 okay so what how can i do that for that you can use the command user mode okay user mode is command is used when you want to modify the user account details okay so there are various options for example you can change the home directory then there is the group id you can change that is especially helpful then the login okay and then there is the shell default shell you can change default unique id you can change like that so user mode command is really helpful for these purposes okay so i want to change some details for the user let's say user 3 okay now if you remember that the default shell for the user 3 was the r bash okay now what i will do instead of r bash i will be set it to the bash shell okay now this setting has been updated okay this rule has been updated now if i logged in here as let's say uh, user 3 and give the password now you will see my default shell has been changed to the bash shell okay if i also check it with this way then you will see it is changed to the bash shell right other than shell there are also some other important options that are used okay for example if you want to change the unique id or you want to put the user in some group okay or you want to change the home directory for the user then you can use the user mode command okay so now let me exit from the user 3 and let's say that i want to change the basic details for example we see that we set the username or full name and then the phone number room number like that details if i want to change then i can use the command chfn and then the name of the user let's say the name of the user is user1 okay this should be used with the sudo okay now it is saying that it is currently set to the user full if i want to change it then i can write here let's say user one full okay then similarly the room number is currently set to the 120 so i can change it to anything similarly the phone number and then the other details okay like that so in that way you can change the basic details of any user if you want to check that whether the information has been updated you can again run the same command okay that is sudo and now if you will see here the name has been updated to the user one full okay similarly the room number has also been updated and then the work phone and every details has been updated 
right so now let's clear it now after creation of the user let's say that you want to delete a user for that you can use the command del user okay or delete user and then the name of the user let's say the name of the user to be user1 okay and then this command should be run as the sudo okay so it is removing the user user1 and now if i try to log in here as the user1 then you will see the user user1 does not exist okay now by default whenever i delete the user the home directory of the user is not deleted for example if you see here dash home then you will see the user1 is still exists now whenever a user is deleted the del user command uses the file that is the etc and then the del user dot file okay if you view the manual page of del user then you will see it uses this file right now let's quit it and let me open that file dot con okay now it is if you see here zero means that do not delete and one means delete now if you see various option it is written remove home now remove home means that whether you want to remove the home directory of the user or not okay so it is set to zero right now so it means that the user home directory should not be deleted okay similarly it is written remove all file now remove all file means that the all the files that has been created by that particular user should be deleted or not so currently it is set to the zero that means the files that has been created by the user will not be deleted okay similarly do you want to set up a backup let's say that you want to create a backup of the file and then delete the user then you can set this to one okay similarly if you are setting it to one then in which directory you want to send the files or in which directory you want to set the backup similarly there is an option for the file system and for the group okay this concept i will explain in the later videos okay by default this file is not writable so i'll have to use open this file as the sudo user okay so now if i set here let's say remove user equals to one okay remove home directory okay now my home directory for the user 2 and user 3 are created inside the home and inside the new user okay if you see here the home directory because i had changed it previously okay now if i delete the user with the del user command and give it here user 2 okay now you will see that our home directory is also getting deleted okay which was not previously happening right so that file can be used if you want to change the default settings while deleting the user okay other than that you can also use the let's say options related to the user okay to override the del user dot con file okay just like as we see in the add user file and then we were overwriting it similarly we can override the file okay if you want to see here then you will see here there are a lot of similar option like remove all file remove home like that okay for an example let's say that i'll first change again that file okay nano slash etc and then it was del user dot com and i will set it to the zero okay that means that whenever a user is deleted then the do not remove the home directory okay but now I will do here sudo then del user and then the username let's say user3 and then I will specify here option as remove home okay it means that remove the home directory also so if I press enter you will see here let me write here ls dash home and then the new users now you will see it is empty basically this has also been removed if you want to remove all the files that has been created by this user then you can use the option here that dash remove all files okay by using this option all the files that has been owned by this user will be deleted okay throughout the system wherever the owner of the file will be user 3 that file will be deleted okay now other than the add user command and delete user command you can also use the commands like user add and user del okay user delete command but my personal recommendation to be use these commands okay these are much more user friendly as compared to user and and user delete command okay so you can go with these commands also there will not be any problem just view the main page and the entire concept is similar to the add user and delete user okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video